Anchors away, let's check out the Maritime Museum. The Maritime Museum was founded in 1949 at the initiative of the Adriatic Institute of the Yugoslav Academy of Sciences and Arts, today the Croatian Academy of Sciences and Arts. But its origins really date back to 1872, at the time when the Patriotic Museum was founded in Dubrovnik. Welcome to the Franciscan Monastery. This is included in the Dubrovnik Pass, so we are going to give this one a wander. And if you're wondering where it is, it's along a little tunnel just next to the entrance of the city walls.
the birdies. Hey, Paul. People are used to seeing ancient monuments in this show. Mm. And I'm not just talking about us. So please subscribe. Feeling cultural? Yes, of course we are. We are going to visit the Cultural History Museum and it is situated in the Rector's Palace. Wasn't that statue in Game of Thrones? Do you remember what it was? No, I don't, but I remember the tour guide saying that this was part of Game of Thrones. I remember this whole area, but I just can't recall because it was so many seasons ago. We're actually out in the open here and it started to rain. It is. Time to get in. It's Anton de Bac. <gasps> there was a really informative photographic exhibition about the Homeland War that I didn't really know anything about. The Homeland War 1991 to 95 was a defensive war for the independence and integrity of the Croatian state against the armed aggression of the Yugoslav People's Army and military units from Serbia and Montenegro. In the war, Dubrovnik and its surroundings suffered considerable destruction and population losses. The wider area of Dubrovnik was put to the torch and looted, and the population had to flee their homes in the face of the horrors of war. The historical core of Dubrovnik, part of the protected world heritage, was shelled from land and sea. For almost 240 days, the people of Dubrovnik lived under a blockade by land and sea, and for 138 days lived without electricity or water, and spent more than four months in shelters. OK, 
Okay, this is Marin Zwarik. Probably not saying it properly. Um, he is best known as Dubrovnik's Shakespeare, and you're supposed to rub his nose to give you good luck. So hopefully I'll get some right now. Behind us is the Church of St. Blaise, and it is free to enter. Did you know that St. Blaise is the patron saint of Dubrovnik? Oh, I did know that, but did you know that St. Blaise is also yeah. the patron saint of animals, builders, ear, nose and throat illnesses, and also Bradford? This is the Museum of Modern Art, Dubrovnik. It is included in the Dubrovnik Pass. Please note that this is closed on Mondays. During our visit only, the first floor and the outdoors area were open. However, we were told that the best view is from the balcony just behind us. There are lots of steps in this series. And here we are on the balcony. 
And yes, indeed. What a magnificent view of Lochram Island in the background. There's a the little boat that we were on when we went to the island for the Game of Thrones experience. We know you're watching the show, so why not subscribe? Just hit the subscribe button. If you're looking for the Natural History Museum, it is right near the Jesuit Steps. Just turn left and then it's right over here. Plus, there's also the sign just over here, which I failed to notice. It's the sort of place that if you weren't looking for it, you wouldn't find it. We were here so many times and I still missed it. Well, look, Paul, look who it is. It's Anton Dubac. <laughs> oh, right, not Anton Dubac. Afraid not. Anton Drobak was born on June the 13th, 1810 in Dubrovnik. Drobak was an impassioned collector, particularly of natural history objects. Oh look, a glitter ball. Maybe Anton Drobak is here after all. More steps. Lovely. Oh look, cups. Who fancies a nice cup of tea? Look at the cute little table and chairs. Please leave your message after the This is really making me feel dizzy. Oh wow, look at that. And you know what this reminds me of? Conan O'Brien, circa 1999. In the year 2000, in the year 2000. 
Freddie Mercury? Oh yeah. 